I am truly excited to make this video because it is March 3rd, 2023 at about 9.20 in the morning that I'm recording this. Why did I make that specification? Because it needs to be said that what I'm talking about is four years old. Everybody has moved on because we watched it from beginning, middle, we even had an arc where we were digging up stuff from the past to the end. It is over. We all know the conclusion. There is one person who does not let it die and that man, for those of you who don't know, goes by the name Jesse Smollett, but around these parts, we call him Jesse Smugglenuts. He is filing an appeal of conviction and calls for a new trial for staging his own hate crime at the same time it was brought up that Fox News, for whatever reason, is making a docu-series about his fake hate crime. Jesse Smugglenuts has called for a new trial after he was jailed for staging a hate crime on himself. As it has been revealed, a new docu-series is going to be released about his elaborate hoax. The Empire actor filed an appeal of the December 2021 conviction for staging an anti-gay racist attack on himself and then lying to Chicago police about it. During the police probe, Chicago cops concluded that Smugglenuts had hired brothers, I'm not even going to attempt their names, to carry out the crime. He was sentenced to 150 days in jail last year, and he only lasted about three. Brittany Griner, who went to jail in Russia for cannabis oil, lasted longer in jail, which proves she's more of a man than a gay dude. On Thursday, Smugglenut's lawyers called for a new trial. In the 102-page appeal, they wrote, Mr. Smugglenut's constitutional rights to due process and to a fair trial were denied by prosecutorial misconduct, including allegations that a defense witness was pressured to change his statement and shifting the burden during closing arguments. I would just like everybody to know, I live streamed the trial, the whole thing. It was long. It was the most views I ever got live ever on my channel. And I thank you all for that. Oh, man. With the Look at him. Assumption that he was still on time because he was still <laughs> on time. But this is Jesse Smollett surrounded by cameras here. His 92-year-old grandmother. <laughs> we watched it in real time. This dude was being treated very courteously. All his evidence was being brought up. All his witnesses. He had all these letters from all these random people coming up. And people were taking the time to read that. And the whole time, I'm wondering, what does any of this have to do with this dude faking a hate crime. I am not here for testimonies about, oh, all the things he did as a kid, all the things he did as a teenager, all his work in these gay groups. I'm interested in why he's in the courtroom for faking a hate crime. I've seen all the evidence to prove that he's guilty. I'm not really getting any evidence that he's innocent. And I've asked for that for four years. All the people that say I'm anti-black, all the people that say I'm homophobic, all the people that say I hate smuggle nuts. I've been waiting for you to present something to me that is not, he's gay, he's black, he's being discriminated against, he's marginalized. I want evidence because guess what from the jump the story made no sense and back then i wanted to give him a little leeway because i thought the trauma of getting jumped was something that made his story not make any sense but a guy at two in the morning in chicago in february where it was snowing suddenly gets a noose around his neck bleach and he's beat up by a bunch of people who claim to be racist maga supporters i'm sorry there's hoops that i have to jump through to make that make sense and none of it could make any fucking sense. I'm not a trapeze artist. I can't jump through a hoop, so I'm sorry. None of that story stuck with me. And over the course of four years, it didn't stick with anybody else. Even people who believed in him started losing faith. And when time came for this trial, this dude dropped the ball. I believe his own grandmother said, if he's guilty, throw me in jail too. Pack that bitch up and throw her to cinder as well and lock the door. You back somebody who openly wasted everybody's time. The 15 minutes of fame for his empire show, up. The 15 minutes of trying to get notoriety for being somebody who's a beacon of gay rights and an advocate, up. Him saying, oh, I don't condone these fear mongrels. No, that there is nothing that I will do here today that can come close to the damage you've already done to your own life. You've turned your life upside down by your misconduct and shenanigans. You've destroyed your life as you knew it. Uh, and there's nothing that any sentencing judge could do to you that can compare to the damage you've already caused to yourself. And above all, I fought the f back. I'm the king. 
Tupac. I'm an advocate. I respect too much the people who I am now one of those people who have been attacked in any way. You do such a disservice when you lie about things like this. It feels like if I had said it was a Muslim or a Mexican or someone black, I feel like the doubters would have supported me a lot much more, a lot more. And that says a lot about the place that we are in our country right now. The fact that we have these fear mongrels, these people that are trying to separate us and it's just not okay. Well, again, Jussie Smollett just found guilty on five of the six felony disorderly conduct charges he faced in this trial that took about a week and a half here at the Leighton Criminal Courthouse. <laughs> It's all up. You even got the copycats. Even now, somebody will fake a hate crime, somebody will be a NASCAR driver and pretend to be a victim of a garage pull and claim it's a noose and say, everybody who's saying it's not a noose, they're just hating on me. Even people who will just casually burn down a bathroom saying that they wanna fight for the rights of people who are being ignored in a college. They're dignified as somebody pulling a smuggle nuts. That's what people say. When somebody fakes a hate crime now, they say, oh, they're pulling a smuggle nuts. Oh, in another form of a Jesse smuggle nuts hoax, you got somebody doing something dumb. That is the legacy of old smuggle nuts. Not as an actor, not as a prominent advocate, as somebody who refuses to let something die because they really want everybody to believe them. At the end of the day, nobody believes you that actually takes the time to wait and seek out evidence. And I will end this video Video the exact same way I've ended multiple videos as regards to this dumb human being. If there is so much proof that you are guilty, where, 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 where is the proof of your innocence? And for anybody who believes he's still innocent after all this time, I'm actually wanting you to tell me what the proof is. Do not tell me he's black. Do not tell me he's gay. Do not tell me he's a victim. Tell me, show me evidence that this man actually got the shit beat out of him at two in the morning by random dudes who don't know anything and say, hey, you're that bum from Empire. And if you can't do that, shut the ever loving fuck up. Subscribe to the channel. I will see y'all in the next one. Goodbye.